everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I wasn't going to film this video, I was actually going to include this in my previous vlog which was my Christmas day vlog but I thought that I would post it as a separate video because I'm the kind of person that just chats on and on and on about things and I wanted to show you what I got for Christmas just in case you're interested. So this year I did uh, basically sort of know what I was getting because my parents asked me of a few things that I wanted. So I did mainly pick out some um, cleaning products because that's just what I wanted because I like cleaning products for some reason. I don't know, I just really got into them and obviously I've got my own flat so it's interesting. Oh by the way the fire is behind me but it's not actually going because I can't be bothered to wait to film this video, I just wanted to film it now. Um, so. This is my last video of this year before I post next year. The next video that you're going to see is going to be on January 1st. So stay around till then. That's going to be my next video. And I think I'm going to go to posting two videos a week instead of three videos a week, which is what I used to do. And also I have been posting every day through December and it's like a lot of effort. So we're just going to go to two. But let me show you what I got for Christmas. So I, th I don't know what kind of order, but I think I will show what I got just as I see the items and pick them up. But this is the cleaning products to start off with that I actually went to B&M with my mum and I actually picked them out and said, yeah, can you put these away? And this is what I would like for Christmas. So you might think I'm weird, but this is just what I like. So first of all, the there's this um, dehumidifier. I get these a lot in my bedroom and basically these little balls, um, they absorb the water from the air and then the water will fill up here. So those little balls will disappear and the water will fill up here. They're nice and cheap and they actually work. So yeah, I wanted one of these. I also wanted some Zoflora. So I've seen this on one of the YouTubers that I watch his videos and basically it's a disinfectant and what I'm going to use this for is putting it into really hot water in a sink, kind of letting it um, make the room smell nice and then once it's kind of been in there for like an hour or so I will get a cloth, dip it in the water with obviously this mixed in it and then I will go around and wipe the surfaces in that room just to disinfect things and also it just makes the room smell nice and makes everything else smell nice so that's why I asked for that. Also this um, toilet thing, I know this sounds hilarious that this is a Christmas present but this is what I wanted. Um, so yeah, I know that these are really good, they actually are so that's why I wanted this and I've not had this one before. So yeah, I am excited to put that in my toilet, don't judge me. I have a Febreze air freshener at home which is really good but I just wanted a couple of refills. You know this is the kind of thing where it's like I would buy them anyway so I'm like more than happy to get it as a present but yeah I've got a couple of refills in. This is the white jasmine scented one so this will keep me going till it's probably summer next year because it really doesn't you know it really lasts a long time. I also got this Fabulosa foam freshener. This is like a carpet foam. So when I've hoovered the carpets on my stairs and upstairs, I always like to use a carpet foam, but I couldn't find it anywhere. And I just found it in B&M when I was in there and I asked for it for Christmas. So this is it. I really love carpet foam. I had shaken back, but I've gone off shaken back because I just find it a bit weird that you're shaking something onto the carpet to then hoover it up and it just creates more work. I don't know. And fills up the hoover. So I like carpet foam because it actually makes the carpet smell really nice and it doesn't make a mess. So yeah, got some of that. Also for my toilet. I've got this um, lime scale remover and yeah, this blue one here. So I just picked that up and that's just gonna be used to keep the toilet clean. I like cleaning things. I find it satisfying to clean things and just to keep them fresh and nice. That's why I really am glad that I've got all these things. I've then got like a little mini disinfectant spray. This is actually wild rhubarb scented. And I think what I'll do is keep this in the toilet and if anybody wants to go in there and you know, do feces in the toilet, then they can spray this afterwards to you know, remove the scent and just to disinfect the area or whatever. I don't know, I just wanted it, it's cute. So look how cute that is. But yeah, it's just like a mini one. I then have some of this. This is the Febreze Antibacterial Fabric Freshener. I already use this anyway, and I've actually ran out of my other one nearly, pretty much. So I'm glad that I've got this one to go home and use because I just use this to spray on my carpets, on any bedding that I've got 
pillows, sofa, anything, towels, just anything that's a fabric because it just holds the scent in so it keeps things fresh. So I've got that. This is basically a cleaning haul. Also, I got this, which is also from Fabulosa, and this is a concentrated disinfectant. Not 100% sure on the exact scent of this because it just says intense, it doesn't say the scent. I've had like three or four bottles of this brand, not necessarily this scent. This is the first time I've had this blue one, but the one I've got currently is a lemon sherbet one, I think, or just a lemon citrusy one. And I just spray it on my surfaces in my kitchen after I've done the washing up every day. And it just makes the surfaces obviously disinfected and clean and also smelling nice. So the room smells really nice. So I really love these. Honestly, I would recommend getting these if you like to live on your own or if you like cleaning. So I'm excited to try this one because I've not tried this one before, but I will only use this one when my lemon one has run out which will probably be in a few weeks or so so yeah got this little guy and then finally for cleaning products i got these um in the cistern toilet block so basically you put these little blocks in the back of the toilet kind of system and it just makes things a little bit fresher it's just something i saw and i just thought oh i'll get that as well so yeah we're all stocked up. If you ever come around to mine, be sure that it will be nice and clean. Maybe not 100% tidy, but at least it will be clean. And also there may be some cobwebs because I'm not the best at dusting. Because if I can't reach it, it won't get dusted. I've got cloudy lemonade. Probably won't drink alcohol today because... By the way, this is Christmas Day as I'm filming this video. But we probably won't drink alcohol today because yesterday I had a little bit too much. If you saw my Christmas Eve vlog, you might see that at the end of the video. We're not looking too well. <laughs> but uh, my brother got me a box of heroes. He actually gave um, my parents some celebrations and me some heroes and he gave it to us on, on Christmas Eve. I've had quite a few of these already, to be honest. These, are, I think heroes are my favourite ones, I'm not sure. But I think, yeah, Heroes are my favourites because they've just got some good ones in there. It also says at the bottom, now starring Crunchy Bits and Dinky Deckers, which I don't think was in there before. And the Crunchy Bits one are my favourite. They taste really good. So, yeah, I really like those. But he got me that. And I got him a, like, pot noodle thing. It's like a little long thing like that. And it's got seven pot noodles in it. Okay, also my parents got me this little plant now i actually chose this again from b m and it's one of those things that i would have bought it myself if not i want to decorate my flat with cute little things try and make everything as tidy and simplistic as possible but also add on things that just look nice and this is just something that like is my aesthetic and that i really like i want plants around my house that aren't real because i don't want to have to water them because they will just end up dead or something I have cactuses and I'm more than happy to have cactuses and I like them because they're real and they don't require hardly any watering but if it's not a cactus then I'm, I'm I'm going for a fake plant so yeah I really like this I think that looks so nice and I like like marble effect and I also like the little standy thing so yeah I really like this oh gee don't know <laughs> I nearly fell over oh that was close so next up, I also got a toaster. Now I do remember I did ask for this a while back, but I didn't put it on my official Christmas list. My Christmas list was literally three items long anyway, um, minus the cleaning products. But but um, I did remember asking for a toaster. I've, oh, hiccups. I've got quite a nice kettle and also quite a nice microwave and I'm not so keen on my toaster and it's also what the previous tenants from me used so I just wanted something a little bit more clean. I find them really hard to clean so if I've got a brand new one I can keep it clean from the offset. So this is the toaster that I've got and I think it's really cool. It's got like a little stand on the top of it where you can sit your like croissant on to heat it up or like any toast that you've already toasted just to keep it warm whilst you do some more toast. But yeah I got a toaster as you can tell in this kind of Christmas, what I got for Christmas, it's all things that I actually need and use. I would rather get things for Christmas that are useful to me and that I'm actually going to make a lot of use out of. So this is the things that I get excited about is things that benefit me and my flat and what I do in it. Okay, I did get a hamper actually from, my, my mum did buy that. I, obviously my parents got stuff together, um, but my mum did select the items and put it in the hamper. Um, so I might try and 
show you that. Right, this is what the hamper looks like um, from afar. It obviously was wrapped up really neatly, but I think she got the actual hamper basket and then this as a set. So you get the hamper basket, this a little nesty thing in the bottom, and then also a bow and it, then you put your own stuff in the hamper to wrap it up. So it's like build your own hamper kind of thing. So I'll show you what's in that hamper now. So first of all in the hamper, I've got some after eights. I love after eights. I've actually had like three or four of these so far today. Don't want to eat too many because I don't want to feel ill because I'm going to have Christmas dinner later on. Um, but I love after eights. They used to be my favourite chocolate and I think they still are. And I haven't had them in years. So yeah, I really love after eights. If you ever want to get me anything small and you don't know what to get me, get me some after eights because I really like them. There's quite a lot in this hamper, so I'll try and whiz through um, everything because I'm sure that you're not, you know, 100% interested, but I am. Um, here we have some olives. So yeah, these are just what well, olives I've had before, but my mum knows I like them. So I'm gonna put them in a jar when I get home and use them in salads and things like that. Also in the hamper, she put this brownie mix, which I think is really cool. I might do this in a vlog where I make brownies using this brownie mixture. And then once I've obviously used the brownie mixture and everything that's inside it, cause it's got chocolate chips in it as well and nuts, I will use the jar to put some stuff in it. I might use it to put in like I could use it for sugar or cookies actually or anything like that. I think I'd use it for something I've baked and just keep it in here like little biscuits or something. But that's also in the hamper. I've then got my favourite wine that I've tried so far. Obviously I'm sure there's better ones out there. Actually it's one of my favourites. This is the Yellowtail Shiraz wine. It's a nice wine. Um, it wouldn't be very nice to drink right now because it's cold and you're meant to drink red wine when it's kind of like a little bit room temperature, a little bit warmer. Um, so definitely not cold but this has been in their car hence why it's cold. I got Tesco's finest carbonara sauce which is nice because it means that I can meal prep for this week. I won't have to actually buy loads of things in my food shop this week so I can actually meal prep with some of the items from this hamper for example carbonara I can have carbonara I've already got pasta so that's really handy and I've got bacon that I can add in as well but yeah I'm very happy about that I got some um, pickled onions in that hamper as well I really like pickled onions they'll be good to add in like salads and things I've then also got caramelised red onion chutney, which I love like stuff like this. I love chutneys and pickles and things like that. So this is something that I may add to a salad or I could have like a, um, like a cheese and pickle sandwich. So cheese and chutney sandwich, I would really like that. So I think that's what I might do. But yeah, this is a good one. Also in the hamper, we've got chocolate and orange spread. So that can be used on toast or maybe I could make some cookies and put some inside or some cupcakes and put a little bit of this in the center of the cupcake. I've also got some mini donut rings, which look really cool. I have those as like little puddings um, at my flat. I'm just happy because it means that I don't really have that much stuff to get in my food shop. Now this is a good one. Goat's cheese stuffed peppers. I loved stuffed little peppers. These taste so good. So yeah, these are gonna be nice to have um, in salads or on the side of something. So yeah, I'm excited to have these. Please try them if you haven't. Then I've got condensed milk. You might be thinking why, why condensed milk? That's a little bit random, but I love just eating condensed milk by itself. Like it tastes so good. So I don't think I'm gonna use this in baking because I could make like a cheesecake or something with this, but I just think what a waste. It tastes so good on its own. So I might um, eat it and like drizzle it over like a pudding that I have or something or drizzle it over one of my donuts. I don't know, maybe. And then I might bake with the rest or something. I don't know, but I'm really happy with that. And then I've got this little thing of treacle. I was actually saying to my mum a few weeks ago, does Lidl sell a squirty treacle? Because I hate the little tins that they have because it just gets so messy. So I'm so glad I've got this because it means that I can actually control how much treacle I use and it doesn't get really messy. And then also in the hamper is this korma paste. So again, this helps me with my meal prepping. When I've got vegetables, I can cook my chicken or whatever, or just if it's vegetarian, my vegetables with this and make like a curry. So I'm glad that I've got that because that will last me quite a little while. Right, we've got three more items left in the hamper. As you can see, it's a big hamper. Sorry, my camera cut off. Um, we've got M&M's, some M&M's in that hamper. So some chocolates. I think I might bake some cookies with this. So I might um, make some M&M cookies. 
I've also got this, which again is good for my meal prepping. This is the M&S Three Easy Step Keralan Coconut Curry Kit. So yeah, it's this is more of like a milder one because I'm not like liking spicy foods. So this is really handy and useful. So it's got like little leaves at the top or whatever. I don't really know the terminology, but it's got a three step thing. So this will be good for meal prepping for me this week. And then finally in the hamper is this 100% peanut butter. So this is this is the kind of thing that I will have as my afternoon snack with like an apple or something. I will have some peanut butter or sometimes I have it on toast. Haven't tried this particular brand before so I'm excited to give this a little go. But yeah, that's everything in that hamper. So that's really cute. That was a cute idea how Tesco's did it where it sold um, like the hampers without anything in it so that you can actually put your own stuff in there. My brother got one as well and my mum tailored it obviously to him and what he likes. So that's what my parents got me. My dad did also um, give me a fair bit of money. So thank you, dad. Um, and I did also get money from my nana. So she gave me some money and also my uncle Barry as well. So thank you everyone that gave me money and cards and things like that. And I'm now gonna show you what my friends got me. My leg is so numb. Right, okay, so first of all, I'll start off with my friend Emma's because this is actually the first present that I opened. Um, like a week ago, she had like a little selection of things and she sent a picture to me and Steph and she said, oh guys, like I don't want these things. Obviously she's been gifted them or something or received them from something and she was like, oh, I don't need these things. Does any of you want any? So she also shoved in a couple of things um, in there and I picked yeah, she also shoved the couple of items that I picked from that in there um, into it. She didn't wrap them up, but she wrapped my others up because obviously she was showing that this is what I picked. Um, but I've got the Body Shop All-in-One Insta Blur. So this is a primer. No, I wanted this because I do a lot of Body Shop videos. So I like to include as many products from the Body Shop in my videos as possible because everybody likes the Body Shop for some reason on this channel. And also the Soap and Glory Body Butter Cream. I love this, the smell of stuff like this. So this is, oh my God, I nearly dropped it. So this is something I would definitely use. And also I don't actually have that many um, body butters or anything surprisingly. So yeah, I really like that. Um, but the things that she had wrapped up for me, first thing I opened, and I was literally so happy, like I was probably the most happiest when I opened this present, I saw this mug. Look how cute that is. Oh my god, like a little pig mug. And I was actually thinking the other day, I'm so sad that Christmas is ending because I won't be able to use my Christmas mug. This is my Christmas mug, my little reindeer thing. And I was sad that I wouldn't be able to use this because, you know, I want to whack it out and it to feel special at Christmas. So I'll save it till next year. But now I'm going to be excited every evening now because I've got this mug. So yeah, this is perfect. And yeah, I really love this. So thank you, Emma. This is so cute. And I, yeah, I'm literally going to use this every day. And also to go along with that, she got me these, they're cookie cutters for teacups. That's so cool. So yeah, basically, um, this is a great idea. I didn't even know this was a thing. You make cookies with these cutters and they've got a little shape cut out so that you can actually stick it on the side of a cup of tea. Can you see that? That's so cool. So yeah, I love that and I'm gonna do that and stick it on there. So I'll probably do that in a video actually um, at some point. I've already planned my videos for January so maybe I'll make that a February video. And then she also got me some hand soap. So this is going to go in my bathroom as like what I use when I go to the toilet to wash my hands. So um, if you was wondering, um, but yeah, so I'm going to give that. No, I can't. Oh no, I can smell it from the outside. I didn't think I'd be able to smell it. But yeah, that smells really good. Also, I said earlier that my Nana gave me money. She also gave me a box of celebrations. So I'm excited to have this because I like to have a little pudding after I have my lunch each day. So I'll have a couple of these each day. So this will last me a while. Um, so I'm really glad for that. But finally, Steph's present. Steph got me, which I was... A, I swear a crow just fell out of the tree. Anyway, my battery's running out. Um, she got me these resistance bands. And I literally did not think about that. I did not think to ask for anything like that, even though I've never tried resistance bands before. I always see YouTubers that I watch using them and I'm like, oh, I really should get some, but I never think about it. So thank you, Steph. That's a really good present. Um, but yeah, these are all the resistance bands. There's tons. There's literally loads. There's light ones, as in like intensity, medium, 
heavy, extra heavy, extra, extra heavy, and then extra, extra, extra heavy. So yeah, there's loads in here. So I'm gonna start with light and work my way up. Try and build some muscle this year, you know, get toned, everything like that, we can try. And then she also got me some cutty cook cutty cookers some cookie cutters because I don't have any uh, maybe she watched my mince pie video and saw that I had to use a glass to be the cutter not sure but yeah and thank you for this stuff I'm glad I got some because now I can actually make actual cookies and not have to use a glass for that so yeah and also I've got some more mince pies to make so I'll use these so that's very handy and then she also got me a book which I was very pleasantly surprised to see because I actually wanted to ask my parents for a book this year but I forgot to ask um because I just forgot and basically I want to get into reading a little bit more and just before I just before I go to bed I want to read a little sentence or two a sentence or two a page or two or three um each night just you know to get me into the sleepy mood so yeah this is the book and and it's called the hopes and dreams of libby quim so i will give this a read let you know how the book goes in like a favorites video or something so yeah so yeah that is everything that i got this year for christmas i just wanted to include it in its video on its own because it's very long because I knew I'd be waffling on. So this is the last video of this year and my next video will be on the 1st of January. So stay tuned for that. Thanks to everybody that got me presents or money or cards or anything. And yeah, I'm really, really happy with everything that I got. And oh my God. Yeah, I'm, I can't really pick a favourite present because everything is like my favourite. But I think the thing that I literally smiled at so much when I received it was this <laughs> mug. So thanks, Emma. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for next year's content. I'm gonna be posting two videos a week and hope you have a good rest of year and good 2021, 2021 and goodbye.